G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. This is uh, where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. Gee, I almost stuffed that up. Let's talk about when bees come out to forage. Now normally you expect bees to follow a life cycle. They hatch and they firstly will probably be nurse bees then they may transfer duties to producing wax and then they may go on to be guard bees and then foragers and it's well known that honey bees these are all certain stages but native bees have been shown time and time again that they can revert to different stages so watch this video now from the beginning and you're going to see a number of bees coming out that look bigger than normal worker bees or foragers. If you look at them, they're whiter, they're furrier. They look totally different from the stock or bog standard forage bee. And these are newly hatched workers. And what's happening at the moment is there's a, a pollen run going. And they want the pollen so bad, so bad that they are recruiting newly hatched bees that are a lot hairier and fuzzier into the job straight away, bypassing other duties. Now they do this forwards, as you can see here in this video, but we've shown time and again, they can also do it backwards. In other words, foragers can revert back to ordinary uh, in-hive duties. It's a, it's a very unique property of native bees and it's why methods like the broodlift method works so well.